Ted and I are headed back to the spot that we scouted out this morning by boat. Just came back here to see how high the water was. Generally this creek bottom is not this flooded and we have to walk, but we're able to get back here pretty easily with the canoe. This is the spot that Jake and I saw the buck when we had the decoy last year. He kind of caught us off guard. We were being foolish and didn't have any cover. But he's working a scrape line that's there every year. And there's a number of scrape lines back in here. We're just going to get back, check the wind, make a decision where we want to go from there. Paddle right up there, hop out. Either find a setup or still hunt and find a setup towards dark. Hoping to get back here and find one of these scrape lines that's really active. So we're just going to be looking for buck sign on the transition between the creek and the hardwoods there. And not going to try to overthink it much more than that. I mean, that's where we've been seeing bucks in this type of area, but we haven't been back in here yet this year. It always seems like a place that a guy ought to run into a good buck, and we have several times. So. On. It's four o'clock. Ted and I just got out of the canoe. And when we were paddling up, I spotted a buck over there. Couldn't see him real well, but I was standing up in the canoe. And I just saw him kind of sniffing around. And there's so many bedding areas back here. That was one of the potential ones that we were going to go to. But the wind is blowing in that direction. I'd say that that's a spot we'll be back to at some point. There's just no way to hunt it with this wind. It was forecasted to be south, but now it's north. Not what we planned, but we're just gonna have to adjust. Luckily, there's enough area here that we're gonna be able to take a different route. Up this edge, I know there's an old road bed that goes through here. There's lots of scrapes on that generally. And with this wind, we should be able to catch anything that's kind of working this edge. The wind was this way this morning, for sure, out of the south. So with a wind switch in the middle of the day, we should be able to catch any deer that are bedded up on that point, set up for a south wind. I think they'll be moving tonight. The wind's picked up a little bit. As long as it stays like this, I think there's a decent chance we'll find some bucks. Just gonna go up here, scout our way in, and either set up or just keep moving down through here until we see what we wanna see. There's lots of beds right here. Like pretty big beds. You're standing in a buck bed. But I think this is a lot of night bedding, but I don't want them to bed here either, so. We'll leave our scent all over these babies. I'll leave my boots right in the bed.
crunchy leaves and just make a mental picture of the ground and then look back up. That way when you're moving, you're looking, but you're also just taking the quietest step possible. So basically pick your foot up, look down, start to move towards it and then look back up. Be surprised how quiet you can be and even the crunchiest leaves. Luckily today we got a breeze, so that's gonna help us out a lot. To be honest, dude, there's a pretty crazy amount of buck sign right around here. Like I can see rubs basically everywhere down in there. And that's like scrape number five. You know, this is what we said when we said when we want to come in here, we want to see rubs everywhere, about five or six scrapes. Bump a couple deer when we come in to, to know there's deer in the area and then not see another one the rest of the night. That's what we were hoping for. Just to feel like we're in the game. That's the situation that I thought would be ideal. Right. <laughs> just to feel like we're definitely in the game, but then get our spirits just knocked, just smack into the dirt. Just grind, them, grind our spirits right into the scrape. Mm. Man, it feels perfect. It feels like it's gonna work out perfectly. Spirits are just gonna get crushed. Going right down the cove. See it? Yeah, and see, I'm thinking we need to get up there just so we can shoot when they kind of come around that edge. See him going right down through the bottom. He's gonna pop right out in that green right there. I mean, those trails are just hammered right there. If this trail's this hammered and there's a scrape on it, surely there's more scrapes and rubs going right through the middle of that thing. Dang it, the decoy wouldn't have been a bad idea down in here. That, that heads up's in the canoe, but I don't want to go back and get it at this point. Should have brought it. So those deer are going right back and forth right here. We're gonna to try to get right here, wind blowing this direction. I don't think he's the only buck that's gonna do that, and I think we probably need to get up in there. I just don't, you know, I just don't see how we're ever gonna get enough cover right there. Like, I wanna be right there, because I think you could shoot him coming right up the gut of that thing. Like, there's literally nothing there. We're here, I mean, there's at least something. They're at least not going to see us. Should I just try to go back and get that thing? Maybe, yeah. Uh, you do it quick? I think I can do it pretty quick. Actually, you want to go get it since I don't have, so I don't have to put my boots back on. Guys, I'm never going to be able to explain it, but we just totally screwed up again. Ted just went back to get the decoy. We decided we wanted to set up right here, because this is just tons of sign in here. And I just got in here. I mean, literally hit the GoPro to film some kind of getting ready. I just staked this camera in here and thought I could self-film one if it walked right here. And I look up as soon as I hit that GoPro and there's a shooter standing there. Ted's walking up right now. They saw Ted walking back with the decoy. It's just nothing, 
Nothing you can do about it at this point. Mistakes were made. It's just, hey, there's another big buck. Really big buck, really big buck. Get in here, Ted. Hurry up. Just get in there behind me as fast as you can. He's far enough away. I'm gonna just go ahead and grunt. Cause like he's far enough away and he's going the wrong direction. Should I rattle? I mean, like he's he's up there a ways. Oh, I see another deer down there. Right where he was, is, it looks like it's a buck. So don't go right down into that open hole. Is it him? It's a buck. It's a little buck. I was just moping about that first buck, which is still really disappointing. We knew when we decided to have him go back and get the decoy that it was a risk. Sure enough, it was just a huge, huge, huge mistake. Then as soon as I was moping about that, I looked up and there's an even bigger buck out there walking from right to left. I grunted a couple times and rattled because he's pretty far up there and we got quite a bit of wind. And as I was rattling, I saw him run back to the right. I've seen that before. I've watched a buck rattle to him, and then him kind of take off running in confusion as to where the sound is. The hope is, is that he eventually walks down this edge and gives us a shot right out here. Bucks, huh? There's a third one. three or four bucks has gone right through that spot. Mm -hmm. There are again.
all three younger bucks. Just seeing bucks all over the place over here. They're young bucks, but they're going back and forth like crazy. And I'm pretty sure I saw a good one with my eyes. We're gonna ease up there another hundred yards or so and try to get a setup up there, just so we're a little bit closer. I know there's a really good spot up there. You can actually see somebody stand up there. Hopefully we can run into a good one. Shooter. What? It's a shooter.
right here, Dad. didn't play out like we'd hoped. Almost got him to commit. We were seeing all those deer down there and we've decided to make the move and man, I'm glad we did because if we wouldn't have, we'd have just been sitting way out of the game. I mean, he probably got 50, 60 yards away and I think he saw the decoy. I just staked it down in the ground, but he didn't want any part of fighting today apparently because he just walked up into the timber. You could hear him go up through there and he might have even ended up back here where kind of where the canoe is. The wind laid down. We were just going so slow up here. We ended up hearing deer chasing. Saw two does run out and then he popped right out, right behind him. That's when we just crawled for cover when he was moving around. It almost worked, I think, if he would have just committed. Maybe he needed, maybe he didn't see the decoy, I don't really know. But man, that was fun. You know the beauty of still hunting is that you can set up in a spot for a little bit and you can move easily. And we almost did it effectively. We found a spot with a ton of deer in it. That's one positive. The negative is, is I don't know that we're going to get to come back here and hunt at all. Guys are going to Missouri and I'm probably going to go to Ohio here in the next at least three days. Ted's got a wedding. His, his hunting buddy's getting married in October 20-something. What kind of hunting buddy is that? <laughs> we just got stuff going on and I don't know that we're going to be able to get back out here. Alright, we're going to start walking back to the canoe. That's it for the hunt. There's deer all over in here. We will be back before the end of the 2018 deer season. We're going to be in here a lot.